Less than 20 years ago, we discovered that the human body, our skeletal muscle, is capable of secreting these miraculous proteins called myokines. These myokines have been scientifically proven to cause the apoptosis, the self-destruction cycle in cancer cells, lower blood pressure, lower cholesterol, bite dementia, and even reverse osteoporosis. With this training method, I've been able to reverse my mom's osteoporosis with no medication whatsoever. And so many other clients have followed in return with all of those different results that they needed just from exercise, from doubling their strength. Now these stories aren't typical results from society at large because most senior citizen fitness programs are simply not aligned with biological science. I've worked in the fitness industry since my 20s, but the, the amazing things that I saw when I started teaching this method, body by science, or otherwise known as high intensity strength training, they were nothing short of miraculous and amazing. Easily doubling the strength of seniors and elderly in three to six months. That does incredible things to the body just as a side effect. We're talking about mitigating 37 chronic illnesses alone just by using our biology. Typically instructing this one-on-one, -on -one, we would charge $300 to $600 every month for clients teaching and instructing this in person. But down below here, I have three different free download PDFs, how you can get started safely getting those benefits today in the privacy of your home or in a gym setting. This is the exact how-to guide on how to begin living longer with the most recent developments in exercise science. When you read my PDFs and the research studies down below, you'll understand that there is an entire realm of amazing benefits that you could be getting from exercise and you will be getting when you implement all of these secrets. I want you and everyone to be able to get these benefits, to live a longer life through exercise, just like my family has. My mission is simply to make this very little known, scientifically research-driven method of senior citizen and elderly exercise available to everybody to be used at any time. Because this is what society is missing out on. Life can be very different than people think it is, and mobility can be available to them deep into their 70s, 80s, and 90s just by implementing these things. Here's the thing, too. What we teach is the absolute safest workout that you can imagine for all ages, but it's a very effective way of giving the body the stimulus that it needs to improve on a deep level. Dr. Henneman's size principle. It explains how important effort is in exercise, and it indirectly points to something very important, exactly what seniors and elderly need to get those benefits from exercise that you've been missing out on. So please, if you've been doing something like sit and be fit that isn't the biological stimulus that can give you those results you've been after, I want you to try this, and this is a series of three videos up above here that instructs you step-by-step step and guides you through how to do these exercises. You won't have to get down on the floor at all, and you could do this at your dining room table. It explains everything and how you can get started today. If you can get up and down off the floor, there's a PDF down below, but there's also a video up above that goes in concert with that as well, that'll help guide you through this, to getting the absolute most amount of health benefits that you possibly can from your first session and all the sessions into the future using high intensity strength training. At the end here, I'm gonna take you into the studio and I'm gonna show you on gym machines exactly what you need to do to get started that also goes hand in hand with that PDF down below that teaches you this method. Amazing things that I have witnessed there was this one client, Barbara, and her not having to use her wheelchair anymore was because that she was able to double the amount of available motor units to her. She could breathe again, and the only time she had to use her wheelchair was when she went to the airport and had to go really long distances of walking, a few miles at a time. But she was able to travel deep into her 80s. Very similar results as that client in Sugarland, Texas, was Dr. Doug McGuff's co-worker who had the same similar story. He was able to throw away his wheelchair altogether 
And this was in the book Body by Science, in the chapter Saving Lives with High Intensity Strength Training. I'll leave that video up above where you can see that story that Dr. Doug McGuff tells in the book Body by Science. All of this, we have the tools that you need to finally start getting results with real science and research-based exercise. If you follow all of these guys, then you will learn how to do this method. And I do have two courses that I'll offer down below as well. If you do need more hands-on help and video assistance all in one place, that can help those of you out as well who do need that. I also highly suggest that you all check out the book Body by Science, but check out Dr. Doug McGuff's YouTube channel and see what he has to say about exercise. Some really incredible things, of course, that most people don't know. And without further ado, here is how to do this method in a gym setting. Hi everyone, welcome to Safe Fitness Training. I'm John Gentry, JG for short. I've been working as a fitness instructor for over six and a half years just utilizing the methodology of high intensity strength training. And a lot of you found this video by typing in body by science workout for beginners. And that makes a ton of sense because that's the title of the video. I titled it that because body by science is the most popular book that goes over this workout. And I'm going to teach you everything that I think you need to know to get started today in this video. So first and foremost, if you'd like, and this is going to be a very helpful tool for you, I have a quick start guide that I want to give to you for free. This is my gift to you just for coming to my channel, just for watching this video and helping it, of course, rank high on Google's algorithm. I would love to be able to get this free quick start guide out to everybody. If you know exactly what you're doing in high intensity strength training, still download it because you can print this out and give it to one of your loved ones, your parents, anybody that has any knee injuries or problems with their joints, shoulders, anything. This is going to help save them from having so much pain when they do exercise. And it's gonna keep people exercising deep into their 90s and 100s as well. There's four important pillars of safety. Now I'm calling this the Longevity Safe Workout Program because this is a tool for not just life extension, better quality of life, but this is the safest and the most effective workout for getting all of the health benefits of exercise. I'm gonna leave a couple of links below for some of those health benefits, and I want you to check it out. I want you to send this video to people if they need help with this as well. So the four pillars are slow pace, keeping good form, breathing well, and engaging your core. The important part, of course, is speed. We when, when you go to a gym and you see people working out, it is horrible, especially for someone who teaches high intensity strength training to walk in and see these people. It seems like they're purposefully ripping the connective tissue just directly off of their <laughs> muscles. And so what we want to do is move at a safe pace with heavy enough weights that are intense enough for us to get the stimulus that is required for the adaptive response biologically. So it's literally this slow. We're moving at 10 seconds because it is the safest. Now, is it necessary? It's, it's not necessary. We can move at five to six seconds and still, again, get all of the muscle growth, the hypertrophy that we're looking for, but that is the pace that we wanna move at. 10 seconds up, 10 seconds down, and moving through that, without resting between each rep. And I'll get to that part here in a minute. We want our form to be good. This is gonna be a little bit different for each machine, but you tend to see people in a gym throwing their neck into it and just scrunching up their shoulders, doing things of that nature. We want our hands to be relaxed if we're not using them, and we want our shoulders to stay down through every exercise. We don't wanna put our neck into anything. That could give us an exercise-induced headache, that's a kind of another topic, but if you're prone to headaches, you may want to pay extra attention that you're breathing well also. We, typically, I will just breathe deep through the entire process, and then when I get closer to the end, I'll use my breathing in a specific way 
to make sure that I can move these weights. And it kind of sounds, feels a little bit like Lamaze or pushing And it's a very effective way to help us reach that momentary muscular failure that we're looking for. The fourth and last pillar for safety is engaging our core. We always want to have our stomach engaged for a lot of reasons, but just for safety purposes, we don't want to wiggle around when we're on this at all. If our core is engaged, then we won't be prone to, while we have our weights engaged, moving all over the place like this and trying to situate ourselves. That's how you're going to injure your lower back, how you're going to hurt yourself moving into the future. So everything stays still except for the mechanical parts that have to move for the exercise that you're using. In this case, it would be your feet, your legs. Everything else can stay still, of course, except your lungs and your breathing. So... The fifth thing that we really should be paying attention to is creating a laser-like focus on feeling our muscle group. And they've done experiments by putting electrodes on people's muscles, measuring the electrical response. When we do focus on the muscles that we're using, in this case, we want it to be the glutes because that's the largest of the muscles that we're working on the leg press then we can get up to 30% more electrical signal just by thinking about the muscles, purposefully using that mind-muscle connection. Uh, that's, pretty, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> so <clears throat> all of those things considered, we're going to be moving with that slow motion. Your very first day. Think about this. When you're going to get on a machine, I would start out at about three-quarters of your own body weight. Some people could start with their own body weight. That, that may be a little bit much for an absolute beginner, but we are going to be moving these weights up quickly and progressively. So your first day, a lot of trainers would say, if they're instructing you in, say, like an introduction to this workout, they'll say, we want your intensity right around a 7 out of 10 just because. Today's really a learning experience. It's not to scare you off or push you to the point to where you're limp and can't move whatsoever. I have had a lot of people that are used to exercise and they're used to intensity and they're like, yeah, I just want to be pushed to the maximum. And if they can keep really good form, that higher intensity is probably going to keep them continuing to exercise into the future. It's going to let them know mentally that we we are getting a lot out of this because we can feel it. And, and, and that does make a big difference. If you can't feel this, you need to up your weights. And that's the bottom line. You're going to feel a high intensity of burning. Now, a lot of people, they have this perceived moment that they've reached momentary muscular failure just because it's burning too much. I don't want you to get caught up in these things. I, I want you to, even through the burning, just assume with every single push that you can move these weights. And I'll get right back to that here after I explain exactly the mechanisms of what you're going to be doing. So I have some other videos that I made in the past about safety settings for the leg press itself. But just for the sake of today, I'm going to give you those seat settings that are important for you. For most healthy people, you can actually have this up pretty high. And this is standard. For the leg press to be up, you're going to be able to use more glutes, more lower back. But if you're prone to straining your lower back or you have some lower back issues, go ahead and start with that seat all the way down. Uh, my channel is called Safe Fitness Training for a reason, and we can still get an amazing amount of muscle growth and health benefits without the seat up all the way. It's going gonna, it's gonna to save you in the future, I promise. So if you're prone to back, back problems, just set that down all the way. And I have a little bit of something in my left knee. So what I'm going to show you is you're going to want to be, if you do have that issue in your left knee, you're going to want to have it right, your knee is going to want to be right about at a 90 degree angle. Now, mine is close. It's not an absolute perfect mark, but it's close enough. This is the seat setting that works really well for me. 
So when you're beginning this, we're going to, like I said, move slow, breathe through the entire process, engage the core, and let your upper body completely relax in good form. And typically, the person training you is going to count to 10 or so as you push. And then they're going to explain something, and I'll get there as soon as I get out. But this is going to be your speed moving forward right here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And right here, we will typically call this the turnaround point. All it means is that we never want to lock out our knees. We have all probably seen at least one horrible video of someone who was lifting heavy weights. They locked out their knees the opposite way and their knee just buckled. And of course, at that point, you have to have a rebuilt, <laughs> a rebuilt knee. You'll never work or live the same again. So just stay safe. Keep those knees bent upward through the entire process. If someone were training you, they'd say turn around. All that means is to just pause and come right back the opposite direction. Same 10 second pace, moving slowly and gently all the way through it. And then when these weights get all the way down, they typically will use a word, a phrase, and say barely touch, barely start. All that means is, is that when those weights are moving through that range of motion, it'll barely touch. We don't want to set the weights down. We want to keep them engaged to maintain that intensity. And then without shooting out, we want to move very slow. So it's one just consecutive movement all the way through those weights. And the idea here is that because we're not resting between our repetitions, with those weights just continuing to go through that full circle, we're going to be able to reach the point of momentary muscular failure, and that's powerful. That's the moment when all of those health benefits happen. The health benefits that we're looking after are absolutely what we want. So I wanna tell you all here as well, I'm putting together some courses that are gonna be available very soon. And this is exciting for me because we're gonna be going over some very, very deep dives into goal setting into the science of this. We're gonna be talking about some of the principles of strength training where if you needed to give this to someone to show them, hey, this is how you're going to save your life, how you're going to live longer, be stronger, have a higher quality of living deep into older age. When we turn around 40 or 50, we start thinking about these things. It becomes more and more important for us. So look, all of this is to say, I'm here to help. If you haven't downloaded my free start guide, please do so. Uh, it's free. <laughs> um, it's there and I made it for you and for your loved ones, especially your spouses. There's a problem within the fitness industry and there are a lot of assumptions with people who they think that because someone is a male or a female, then they have different exercise requirements. Or that if someone is a senior or elderly, then all of a sudden they have different exercise requirements. And that is absolute hogwash. Biology is the same scientifically for every single human body. The way to stay safe is exactly what this methodology is for. And in order to get all the health benefits, you have to have that intense, productive work that happens with reaching momentary muscular failure. So I'm going to get off my soapbox here. I look forward to guiding you through more videos. Drop a comment below. Let me know if you have questions. Let me know what I can help you with. And if you are so inclined, I'd love for you to check out my courses when they're available. Coming up very soon, probably within just a week. I'll have some of those ready for purchase and at a discounted rate for just a couple of weeks. So stay tuned and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a great day.